Throughout Caitlyn and Kris Jenner's marriage, Caitlyn's kids appeared to present a positive front when it came to their stepmom. But after the divorce, the ugly truth emerged. Here's why some of Caitlyn Jenner's family members can't stand Kris Jenner. Like everything is always your fault. Absolutely. Of all Caitlyn's children, eldest son Burt Jenner has been the most outspoken against his one-time stepmom. According to Radar Online, Burt railed against family members in a since-deleted tweet claiming they didn't support Caitlyn before she went public with her transition. A source told The Tab that Burt's remarks were aimed at Kris Jenner and half-sister Kylie Jenner. The insider added, Burt does his own thing and can't be controlled by anyone. Burt also pulled no punches in an interview with Dirt Authority when he said, the Kardashian world is not where I come from. He also claimed keeping up with the Kardashians was a destructive force in Jenner family relations and described Chris's vision for the series as the nail in the coffin for his relationship with Caitlyn. Burt told Vanity Fair, there was a you aren't part of this kind of thing. Chris made the choice to make a good TV show that was in their image and brand. Brody Jenner spoke highly of his then stepmom Chris Jenner in 2013, telling the New York Daily News, Chris and I have had some very deep, long conversations and we actually really got to know each other. And so we're all good now. It was a stark contrast to the awkward dynamic between them portrayed on the show that same year. Just two years later, Brody sang an entirely different tune on Sway in the Mornings on Shade 45, saying, Chris and I, honestly, we never talk. While he did call Chris a very smart woman and an incredible mother, Brody also said, the Kardashians are not even technically my family anymore. One year later, Page Six reported that Brody was overheard uttering the same sentiment at Coachella, only with a bit more stank on it this time. Responding to a fan who congratulated him on the success of the Kardashians, he reportedly yelled, they're not my family. Yikes. Brody was a little more reserved at an Oscar viewing party in 2019, telling Us Weekly, everybody's kind of doing their own thing now since Caitlyn and Chris split up. Caitlyn's mother, Esther Jenner, ripped into Kris Jenner in a 2014 interview with the Daily Mail, calling Kris a controlling monster who didn't treat anybody very well. Next came accusations that Kris cheated on both Robert Kardashian and possibly Caitlyn, that Kris didn't help care for Kylie and Kendall when they were babies, that Kris constantly badmouthed Caitlyn's children from her first two marriages, and that Kris manipulated Esther's cameo on the family's reality show. It was a takedown tour de force all wrapped up neatly with Esther's sentiment, I hope she changes her name back to Kardashian I don't want her to carry the name. Compared to Grandma Esther's scorched earth approach, Brandon Jenner's denouncement of Kris Jenner was mild at best. As reported by Vanity Fair, Brandon merely subshaded Kris when he strenuously opposed Caitlyn Jenner's decision to use Keeping Up With The Kardashians producers for her since-canceled spin-off reality show, I Am Kate. He said, You go on E's website and you look at all the shows, every one of them is a circus. Considering Keeping Up With The Kardashian is Kris's brainchild and her financial lifeblood, an attack on the show is certainly an attack on Kris. 100%. According to MSN in 2019, Brandon admitted on a radio show that being associated with Kris Jenner's empire has not been good for his career, adding, I sometimes am almost a little ashamed of it because I feel like people are going to have this preconceived notion that I'm just kind of like a spoiled kid that doesn't really have anything to say, right? And hasn't struggled in their life. Later that year, Brandon opened up further to People Now, revealing that he felt so alienated from the reality TV side of his family that he overcompensated by adopting a decidedly unglamorous aesthetic. He explained, I just wanted to show the world that's not who I am, that I'm somebody that wants to be judged on my character and how I treat people in the world, not how I look or what I have. Caitlyn Jenner's second wife, Linda Thompson, has strong feelings towards Kris Jenner, and they aren't pretty. According to Vanity Fair, the rift started in the early years of Kris and Caitlyn's marriage when, according to the elder Jenner kids, Kris essentially turned on them. According to Kris, the strain came from being, quote, embattled all the time over visitation disputes with Linda. But Caitlyn told a different story, citing Linda's petition for child support as having had a very negative impact on Kris's willingness to integrate the families. With that backdrop in mind, it's not surprising that Linda laid some of the blame at Chris's feet for the estrangement between Caitlyn and Thompson's boys, Brody and Brandon. According to Thompson's memoir, A Little Thing Called Life, she holds her ex fully accountable for failures as a parent. However, she did get in the following dig directed at Chris. Having been present at almost all of the birthday parties and holidays in the five years between our separation and her marriage to Chris, Caitlyn was a noticeable absence now. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.